Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Alex and TV Alex, and today something's going on. But before I tell you, please go ahead and consider subscribing, turn the notification bell on. Also, if you want to support the channel, there's affiliate links down below. Check those out. Doesn't cost you anything, and let's get right into it. Okay, so something's going on. I went on a ride. I just came back. I was gonna cut my ride a little bit short because something happened. So I'm riding my Polygon Sys QT8 and I noticed when I was in the middle gears like in 6 and 7 that it was skipping a little bit. So it kind of had me wondering a little bit of what, what was going on. So let me show you. So in these gears like 8, 7 and 6 it was kind of like jumping up and down a little bit and I played with the uh, barrel adjustment and I just couldn't get it right. So it left me thinking what was going on, something was going on, something must have been happening. It, it was only right here in the middle, somewhere in the middle this uh, 12 speed SLX uh, cassette, Shimano cassette. And uh, I got the SLX uh, the rear derailleur with the clutch and everything. I probably, so I'm just thinking, what can it be? So things that come into my mind, maybe the chain, because I haven't replaced the chain. I kept up with the lubrication and everything. And um, yeah, so I kept up with maintenance and everything on this one. So first thing that comes to my mind, maybe my chain is probably got around somewhere around thousand miles if not a little bit more because as you know that's not my only bike so i've been riding i rode the blue accent for a long time then i've been riding my not too much that one but that one probably has already like 200 300 200 miles maybe my e-bike is got 200 on the clock so those are the main bikes that i've been riding and along with this one as well but uh like i said i don't know so then I don't know I was thinking that the cassette might have a little bit of a play as well so I did this let me show you so I'm on the other side and I don't know if you remember I have a a video where I did a little bit of maintenance on a 11 speed cassette the one that I had on the blue axon and uh, I adjusted or tightened up some bolts at the rear of the cassette this one does not seem to have any bolts but i'm about to take it off because if i move this a little bit if i move the cassette a little bit i can actually notice the lower gear is not moving and that is kind of concerning hold on let me see if i can make this to happen there you go so there's a little bit of play on the lower gears so I wonder if there is a screw or something to tighten up the cassette so let me go ahead and take the wheel off see what I can see okay so I think I might have found a problem and I don't have my camera stand with me but let's look at this I'm gonna hold this right here and look at this I'm holding the back and I'm moving the lower gears I mean the higher gears see how that moves so this is 12 12 11 10 9 8 7 So it moves all the way to 8. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. All the way to 8 is moving. So I wonder if I just need to tighten up the lock right there. Let me go ahead and get the camera stand real quick. Okay, I went ahead and get the camera stand. So let me see if you can see this again. Look at all this. It moves. This is... 12, 11, 10, 
nine, eight, all the way to eight, not seven. Apparently seven is part of the other. Yeah, this thing was not that. So use guess. Again, guys, maintenance. This is all about maintenance. I haven't tightened this up since I, I don't know when. So hopefully this will take care of the skipping problem because it was really getting on my nerves. And when you take them apart, make sure sometimes you have some spacers in between the gears, like over here. Make sure where, which one goes where because some of them are thicker than other ones and you want to keep track of that. So while I have this out, I'm just going to brush it off real quick. Oh, look, look, this one is also a micro spline, just like the one on the uh, on my e-bike. So that's a good thing to know. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I have ever taken this cassette off. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit of grease right here as well. So everything is better with lube. Right, Jeremiah? Lube the sucker up. Shimano SLX 12 speed. It's a quick wipe off, I'll take care of it later. Just want to take advantage once that is loose. Get in between the gears. Anything that might be in there. This is one piece. It's riveted in. And it only goes one way right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the eighth gear. There's not a space here in between. I'm gonna wipe this off real quick. And it can only go one way because one side has the tooth count and the other side doesn't. So just look for that. And there goes a spacer on top of that one, which I have over here. And again, Careful with the spacer because some of them are thicker than the other ones. Keep track of that. Apparently, usually goes the higher the gear, the thicker the spacer. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them right back, all of them. Click. See, much better. No, no play whatsoever. I'm gonna put this back on my bike and check the shifting Well, I guess that's lesson learned. Always check your cassette every once in a while, every once, maybe every 100 miles, because like I said, I have never taken this cassette apart. And it got me kind of, it was kind of weird today because this bike has never given me any, any problems whatsoever until today. Luckily, it was just a quick adjustment. So that is it, a little bit of maintenance. Uh, I thought it was gonna be something way worse than that. Maybe I thought it was gonna be the chain. Or it might, the chain might still need to be replaced, but the whole problem in my scenario today was my cassette. So check it every once in a while. If you don't check it that often, I mean, this is the second time kinda the same issue happened to me. I guess lesson learned, duh. But uh, yeah, I was able to get it dialed in. It is shifting a whole lot better than it did on the trail. And it, so I guess it's just the wear and tear of the chain that might need to be replaced. But it's working way better. Hopefully the next time I take it to the trail, it'll be no issues. So if you learned something today, if you had this problem before and you had no idea what it is, if you have this problem right now and you have no idea what it is, check it. It might be as simple as that. Take advantage, go ahead and clean it up and put it back together. Put a little bit of grease, should be good to go. If you learn something, if I help you with something, 
give it a thumbs up if you didn't like this video still just go ahead and give it a thumbs up why not also don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell on and that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one goodbye